All right, y'all. It is. 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 It's Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, and it is arm day, my dudes. Uh, you guys know, not my favorite day of the week. Uh, I actually hate arms. Um, they're very fucking monotonous, especially biceps. But, you know, we're going to fucking figure it out. Uh, we have, going back to the basics of what we used to do for arms, um, tries, then buys, we're going to do front delts in between. Uh, the same front delt movement that we've been doing, the, uh, the Arnold Press superset for the overhead dumbbell is, I mean, I fucking love it. I think it's amazing. It feels good. It flows good. It's, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep doing it, like, until, you know, until I don't want to anymore, which could be fucking forever, to be honest. Like I, like I always say, if you like something and you enjoy it, stick with it, bro. You have no reason to switch up your routine for no reason. But that, I know that's a weird sense to say. You have no reason to switch up for no reason, but it's true, man. I feel like, I don't know, maybe me being so, like, not emotional, but, like, uh, I don't want to say deep because that sounds weird. Me being so, like... I don't even want to say motivational because then it sounds like I'm calling myself motivational when I don't even know if I am. I think me being so sentimental, there's the word, uh, the gym videos is good and bad. I think it's good because I get to talk about a lot of stuff that like I think about on a daily basis and I don't really talk about, which is cool. But at the same time, I also feel like I could probably like, I don't know. I feel like there's other things I can be doing with this gym stuff. If you guys have ideas for like the gym videos, please let me know because I'm curious as to what you guys think and what you guys want to see because... I feel like I'm just doing the same stuff over and over, and I don't want to be doing that. I want to be doing stuff that you guys want to see. I want to be messing around. I want to be having fun. Like, yes, me doing this just how I'm, I've been doing has been fun, but at the same time, like, I know that there's more that I could do possibly for you guys like, that you guys want to see. Like, because I know I have so much energy, and I have, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm quite funny. Uh, and I know that I, I've shown that in my, you cannot merge in a fucking, bro. <sighs> you just merge in the middle of an intersection. Um, what was I saying? Um, 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 I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember. What the fuck was I saying? Rah! Oh my god, I can't fucking remember. Ty. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. Who gives a fuck? Who even cares? Do you guys even care what the fuck I have to say at the time? You guys just fucking skip to the, to the lift anyway. Like, who gives a fuck what I'm saying in the fucking five to eight minutes that I sit here and yap about whatever the fuck I'm talking about? It really is, like, genuinely, like, doing this shit is literally just for me to talk my fucking brains out about all the shit that I don't talk to other people about because I don't have a fucking girlfriend. I don't have a fucking friends. I don't have a fucking... <sighs> Slight crash out, but we're going to breeze past it. If any of you guys come on the crash out, I will come for you. Pause. I will, um... I will find you and I will kill you. I can't say that on YouTube. In GTA. I will kill you in GTA. I cannot say I will kill you on YouTube because it's in GTA, right? GTA, so it's fine. I'm right, I mean, right, YouTube? Oh, bro. It's it's bad. I don't know what's happening. There's traffic getting on the freeway. This is unfathomable. I can't even fathom what this means for the freeway. Okay. How's everybody? How's everybody sleep? How's everybody sleep? How's everybody sleep? How's everybody sleep? Last night, my sleep was like a four, bro. I don't know. I, I, did, I did not feel good waking up today. The past like two days, I felt like okay, waking up at six today. I did not feel good waking up today. Like it was just like I am not. I was just like, yeah, bro. I'm, there's no way I have a good day at work today. It, it ended up being like more than slow, so it was fine, I guess. Although I, I hate it when it's slow even more because it's like it, the time goes by so fucking slow that I'm just sit there and I'm just like, yo, I'm pe I've been peeling onions for 45 minutes without a customer that come in here, and now I'm doing like what? What else do I have to do now? I'm gonna stand here with for customers. I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna restock this. But like, what the fuck am I really doing, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like working in restaurants is so like your your feelings about days are so bipolar because when it's super busy, you literally just want it to die down for 20 minutes and you'll be fine. But when it's super dead, you want it to fucking pick up for 20 minutes and you'll be fine. It's kind of like I feel like the best kind of restaurant to work at is a steady restaurant where you kind of have a consistent amount of people for a consistent amount of time and. You know when the rush is coming, you know how to adjust to it, you know how to do all that stuff, but obviously that's unrealistic because restaurants are unpredictable, any kind, not just like a fast food Chipotle or whatever, but all restaurants are unpredictable with their times and when it's going to get busy and how many people are going to be there, so 
I guess that's an unrealistic thing to assume because people are always doing something different, always changing something up, always do, coming at different times. You know, it just whatever, whatever. I, this 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 side rant about Chipotle has gone on for too long. I had a point I was trying to get to, and now I've lost it again because I got distracted by the fact that I like or that I wanted to be a little bit more busy. Um, what was I? What was I thinking? What was I? What was I gonna say? Um, 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 um. Well, uh, oh, oh, question, 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 question of the day. Who are your top three favorite NBA players currently playing? Not all time, currently playing. Number one, you guys obviously know my favorite player is LeBron. LeBron is my number one favorite player right now that's currently playing. Number two is Giannis Androkumpo, the Greek freak, the legend, the guy that says it's sexy time or freaky time. Love, love the Greek freak. At number three, um, LeBron, Giannis. Who else do I love to fucking watch? Hmm. I am I honestly, it might be Kai, bro. It might be Kai. I love watching Kyrie Irving play basketball. It's so beautiful to watch Kyrie Irving play basketball. It's like you're watching a fucking Instagram reel edit the entire fucking time. I don't know how that guy's so skilled. I wish I could be like him. But yeah. Drop your top three favorite basketball players in the comments. If you do, I'll know you watch my videos all the way through, and I will love you more than anyone has ever loved you in their entire life, including your mother. So just think about that. If you want some love like that from a guy that you don't even know, shit. I'd, I'd comment it. If you don't, I understand. Uh, it's a little bit, if I made you uncomfortable, I'm sorry. Um, please say, though, I can use the views. Yeah. Let's go do arms. Enough of my fucking chit chat. <laughs> Okay, first set of the day, crossbody, try to have extensions. Um, you guys, oh, let's probably move to the little, little right a little bit more. You guys know I like this movement. It's um, a movement where I can put a little more weight and still get a good squeeze, especially at the top of the rep. Uh, that's really what I'm going for with these, is to get the good squeeze when I'm right here. Boom, because right here I'm engaging almost all of my tricep, right? Most, mostly the outer tricep, right? But I'm still getting some uh, middle and inner tricep activation when I squeeze hard enough. So it's fairly heavy, um, but I'm still going to go pretty controlled. Maybe probably three sets, uh, and then we will adjust based on how this set goes, as per usual. Yeah, two more. That's really good. You know, all the effort you put is pointless if you do not believe in yourself. All right. You have to get out of your own way. You have to focus on what's important. You know, everyone, she's, all of you guys are stronger than you think. You can't give up, man. It's, it's a consistent battle of maybe I'll quit, maybe I won't, maybe I'll quit, maybe I won't. But you're the only one that decides which other it is. You decide when to quit. Your body doesn't. As much as you think your body tells you, it's not your mind. Your mind's gonna tell you when you're done. So don't let yourself be done.
Okay. Oh. Oh. You know, everyone gets in their own way at some point, especially when it comes to something as physically taxing as lifting. You're gonna get in your own head, you're gonna get in the way of yourself, you're gonna not be able to, you're gonna feel like you can't do as much as you're actually doing, right? You're gonna doubt yourself, you're gonna doubt your ability, you're gonna doubt this, doubt that, doubt this, doubt that. But, I mean, the whole point of that happening is just you being tested on whether or not you can actually survive whatever you're going through. Whether that be a weight you can't hit at the gym or something outside of your gym life that's distracting you or something that, you know, you just can't stop thinking about that may motivate you sometimes and demotivate you at other times that may make you want to do something that you're going to regret that may distract you from life, right? So... I mean, in reality, you have to learn how to push past your own mental blocks. Because yes, your mind is what's going to push you past it, but it's also what's going to stop you. Train your mind to do what you want it to do. Don't let it control you. If you let it control you, who really are you? You have to think about it like this, right? It's not going to get harder. So whatever you're going through, whatever way you're trying to get is the hardest it's going to get. If you can make it through this one challenge, everything else is downhill. It's not that your battles aren't going to get bigger, they're going to get bigger, but you just kind of get better equipped to fight your battles. And you have more people's backing you, you have a bigger audience, you have so many other things that are behind you, but you know, at the beginning, the first fight is just you with. with just bare hands versus a bear. And I have to think, that fight is gonna be a lot harder than fighting a big ass dragon with 25 other comrades and you guys all have bazookas, right? Realize that the things you develop along the way and being able to build things out of the beginning, like that's what, like, all that winning in the weeds, that's kind of what gives you these advantages later on because you have more context, you have more experience, you've built more things for yourself. And rather than, you know, be afraid of it and be mad that you're going through it, just remember that everything you're doing now is helping you fight your battles in the future. And don't expect it to be easy because that's what's going to make it even harder. Expect it to be difficult, but no. But the harder you push, and the more you try to make it easier for yourself, the easier it'll get. Anyways, uh, three sets of super push-ons. Fairly heavy. Uh, I may go up, may go down. We'll see how it feels. But three sets for sure. For sure. <laughs> Nine with the hold is good. I think it's what we're gonna do. Whenever I fail it, we're just gonna hold that one down as much as we can. Excuse me? What's your YouTube channel? That's uh, that guy, Ty10. I can show it to you if you want. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ty spelled how? T Y. And then 10. It's a big ass picture of my face. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, <clears throat> 
That was, uh, that was better than the last one because the reps were better quality. The last one was more weight, which was cooler, but the rep count was lower. And if you notice, I was a lot more shaky. I'd much rather do 12 and have the last four really hard than do eight and have all eight be really hard. Pause. You know what Giannis said that Kobe told him? You have to be simple. Work on your craft again and again and again and always be a kid. And yes, that sounds backwards, right? No, you gotta grow up, you gotta be more mature. No, no, no. When you're a kid, you always ask questions. You always try to learn, you always question, why am I doing it like this? How can we do it like this? You ask so many questions, you try and figure out why certain things work a certain way, right? So just keep being a kid, you keep trying to learn. Because the more you learn, the better you get. And the better you get, the better your results. And the better your results, the more confident you feel, the more confident you feel, the more you wanna work, right? It all, it all comes together. Long rope positions, not the short rope. Huh. All right, a couple more sets of triceps. I think three probably be good. Long rope extensions. The reason I put the rope or the attachment higher is so I can have constant tension on my triceps. If you guys saw the push downs at the top, there wasn't that much tension, right? But with these, because they're so high. And I'm gonna back up, even right here, this tension. So even if I go all the way up, I'm still going to have that tension on my tricep. And I'm still gonna have to squeeze and extend all the way, right? Like there's never gonna be a point in this movement where there's no tension. And because of that, we're going lighter and we're gonna start with control. <sighs> you want to be afraid because when you're afraid you push yourself unlike any other because when you're not afraid why is my autofocus not on what are we talking about oh here we go because when you're not afraid you feel comfortable and comfortability is what makes you vulnerable because once you get too comfortable you're not really gonna do anything once you feel comfortable you're not gonna want to change do your best to stay uncomfortable. I didn't put the weight up. It's high. Oh, 
But, okay. All right. Uh, um, let's do our little shoulder press superset thingy. The reality of is, if you can work that hard every single day, why wouldn't you? Like, what is stopping you from pushing yourself as hard as you can on every lift as often as you can? I don't get it. Why would you not? Why would you want to leave something in the tank? Why would you want to go out without doing everything you can? Because if you do everything you can, you're going to improve more than everyone else. You're going to improve more than the people that aren't. You're going to improve more than people that you're going to improve more than people that are leaving reps in the tank, right? You're going to continuously keep getting better while other people are staying stagnant. And why wouldn't you want to get better? Why wouldn't you want to be the best at whatever it is you're doing? It doesn't have to be the gym. Whatever you're doing. Why would you not want to be the best? Why not push yourself as hard as you can, as often as you can? Just do it. <laughs> We're not with the 50s right here. Let's see how it feels. Should be fine. 45s were nothing crazy, so. <laughs> Marking the crop top, they're talking about. <laughs> Nine to five. That's good. We'll take that. Two more. So, what makes you uniquely yourself? All right. How are you gonna be confident yourself if you don't know who you are? Think about it. What makes you you? And then once you figure it out, embrace it. Love it. Be confident in it. Let that be your thing. Have your thing. Don't let anyone else do what you do. One more say here. Let's do 10 and 6. I got 10, but we got three regulars. That's fine. Let's do some curls. Whew. All right, to rock with the 45s. Shit feel pretty good. Control is the key, as always. Okay. I'll take a look, that's good. Two more. Mm. 
Stop drawing attention to yourself while you lift. I know that's almost contradictory because I have a big ass camera and a tripod in here. Oh, my camera's crooked, by the way. But if your whole goal is to go in the gym and get attention, what are you doing? Why are you there? What are you gaining from people staring at you? Just honestly, what's the point? If you're going in there, going there to work, not going there to play games. There's no reason to play games. So serious. You know, if you're always blessed to always getting these spectacular things happening to you, always getting lucky with what you get and what's given to you, you're favored by God, which is very, very good. But at the same time, remember this, you're favored by God, you're also favored by the devil. Just remember that. Don't slip up. Keep fighting. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, sometimes it's not even about lifting. Sometimes it's about wanting. Sometimes it's about wanting something that can distract you from life. And I'd much rather that thing that distracts me be a healthier and more effective thing than stress eating or you know, sitting around doing nothing. Three sets here. Still a hundred. More just. I just found I was 12 for reps. Live it there. Two more. You cannot give up yet. Not today, at least. Just give it one more day. See how you feel. Then after that, give it one more day. Then after that, give it another one. Another one. Another one. If you're not done anytime soon. You won't be. So don't just have to leave that. Ugh! <sighs> 
Uh, two sets of machine preachers. All right, two sets machine preachers. <sighs> so. You know, you never, you never know who somebody is until they show you what happens when they face tough times. So don't be the kind of person that once you face tough times, you fall down or you fail. Be the kind of person when tough times come, you rely on yourself to regain your progress. That's it. We're doing this one slow. Drop the weight a little bit. Real slow. Shit. All right, let's get a little bit of, let's get some good lighting. I mean, shit. I love arms, pumps. Love arm pumps, but I hate doing arms. I don't know, I love looking at myself. All right, let's go home. All right, what do you guys think? You think the basics work or what? I mean, fuck, you tell me. I think the fucking basics are back. I, gotta, I just have to stop overcomplicating it. I have to stop making it too like crazy cool interesting overzealous lifts like i don't need all that shit bro i do not bro the fucking lift today was perfect the tricep portion was good the bicep portion was good portion was good i'm very fucking happy with how literally all of that went all of it the only thing that i think could have been a little better was the rope extensions i think that I, those were a little underwhelming but everything else was exactly how i want it to be like consistently like for an arm day, that was that's like exactly what I picture. I know that sometimes I do the supersetted version of arm days, but 
honestly, if if that if an arm day is gonna feel like that, I'm fucked super sets. I'm doing it just like that every time. And even the front delts felt good, bro. The, the oh my god, Arnold Press doesn't work your front. Shut the fuck up. I, I feel my front delts right now after doing Arnold Press. So fuck you. Fuck all you thing you believe in. I'm right. You're wrong. I don't care. I'm sorry. That's a bad mindset to have. I think that it works for me. So I'm gonna keep doing it because it works for me. And if you don't agree, then you don't have to watch when I do that movement. But please keep watching the rest of my videos. Love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, besides arms, I think that one of the key things to gain from that lift was that, you know, there's a lot of opportunity out there to make a name for yourself in this world, especially right now with how big social media is, how big it is to start your own business, how easy it is to throw your hat in the ring for business and stuff like businesses and stuff like that. Like it's so easy to kind of get an opportunity and get a chance that if you're throwing away opportunities and chances, you are, you may throw away the one that's going to make you popular, make you famous, make you be who you want to be because you don't know when you're going to get another chance. Like, yes, there's a lot of chances, but at the same time, the more chances, the lower the quality, right? The, it, just like anything, right? The higher amount you have of something, the lower quality you probably have, right? So you want, to focus on every single chance and opportunity you get in this world and make sure that every single one of them, you're treating it like it's your last chance. Because if you take that mindset and you apply it to every single opportunity you get, you'll make the most of every opportunity, you'll get the most out of every opportunity, you'll beat the best people out of every opportunity, and you will have the highest chance of success in those opportunities. And that's always what you want, is to have a high chance of success. If you have a high chance of success in anything you're doing, that's a good thing. You want to be successful. You don't want to have to worry about possibly failing you don't want to have to worry about messing up or doing something that risks your entire career like none of that right but if you can keep a high level of opportunity or of opportune success and keep that chance of success high you're in a great place you're in a great fucking place so just keep working keep striving to be the best person you can be every single day make sure you guys sleep good tonight drink your water love you peace